When I was a boy growing up, birds were a real big part of my life and our family life, really. We had a big bird cage with the, uh, you know, doves and little bob white quails and fun little birds like that outside. We had inside birds. I raised finches, budgies. We fed the birds year round. Chickens, ducks, you name it, geese. We had them all. And uh, when it came time to uh, pick my uh, mother's gravestone, it was a no-brainer when my dad saw the idea that we could have a family of birds on the stone. And so that's exactly what we did. And uh, last week it was delivered and it's super cool. But I was, uh, after looking at it, uh, I wanted to make my dad something. So I made him a little, uh, a little uh, comfort bird out of soapstone, all right? Nice little uh, minimalist bird. And uh, I haven't given it to him yet, but uh, I wanted to share with you because we're going to make our own out of wood. We're gonna make a little uh, comfort bird out of our little, piece of wood in our one by one series. I've made a few already. I got, uh, you know, red ones, plain ones, threw one in a, in a can of stain, right? I made a butternut one, sanded it smooth, right? Well, antique one, white with the edges taken off. Another just plain one, right? But what is a minimalist bird, Minim or minimalist bird, what is a comfort bird? It's just a minimalist bird that will remind you of a time, a date, a place, uh, a worry bird, something you can just sit and rub when you're thinking, just something that you see and it reminds you of something, or a fidget, a fidget bird. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to make our little uh, comfort bird in our one by one series, and uh, yeah, give it a go. It's a, it's a fun little fun little carve. Now, just before we get going, I want to thank our sponsor of today's video, of course, is Wood Carving Illustrated. Uh, wood Carving Illustrated is a magazine <laughs> for wood carvers and not mosquitoes, but a uh, great little magazine uh, full of tips, tricks, plans, patterns, philosophies, just a magazine for wood carvers, uh, young, old, new, experienced, great magazine. And uh, they give me a little promo code, LINKER, all caps, L-I-N-K-E-R. And that will uh, give you some little freebies when you subscribe. I put a link in the description. And uh, they got some little freebies for you, some little plans and uh, whatnot. So uh, check out Wood Carving Illustrated. Uh, you won't be disappointed. All right, we've got our one by one here. And today's one by one is two and a half inches tall. All right. So you know the drill by this point. We're going to put our, our center marks on our piece of wood. All right. To keep us honest and in line, let's mark center and go around. Okay. Now, we're going to take our ruler here and put three marks on here. We're going to go half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. All right. We're gonna take our half inch line, mark it on three sides here. Take our one inch line, mark it on the, the three sides again. And our inch and a half mark, we're gonna keep that just on the sides. Three sides. <laughs> okay, now on our back end, we, got, we still got an inch left of the uh, center line here. But on that center line, we're going to give it an eighth of an inch. All right. So basically, we have a quarter inch left of center. And actually, this one has to come a little bit farther. All right. So very simple layout. These lines are just guidelines. They're not going to be set in stone. We're going to be rounding and, and finding our own way. But just right off the bat, let's just get started here and see it right away. I'm going to cross that line a little bit, but I'm just going to kind of roughly draw in a bird. All right, if that goes down there. You can see it, this is all going to be rounded in here, but we're just going to rough, a rough bird here, okay? And that's going to join up with that line here. And see, I've already crossed those lines, but they're there just to, just to give us an idea, all right? 
and then from our back line here just like so see that there's our rough bird already quickly the same thing on this side I got a mosquito biting my finger at the same time. Get out of here. Okay. So what we're going to do, I've got my uh, flex cut uh, detail knife today. And uh, we're going to just carve out the profile. And if you had a saw, obviously you could simply cut out that saw. Cut out the saw. Cut out that uh, bird with a saw. But we don't do that. One by one, it's pretty simple. But uh, we'll, we'll carve the outline this way and then we'll carve the outline this way. Okay. So just starting out here. You can see how I got a little, little hook in there. All right. If you got your carving glove, get your carving glove on. You can save your fingers with these little projects. All right. Oh, look at that. That's our bird outline already. See that? Just carving along, taking some bites out of here. I like to do the corners and then work on the center because it's uh, less wood. All right. Let's just go to one side and go to the other side. You don't have to take it all off in one, one swale, one big bite. Let's take little bites. We're just working our way down to that center line. Keep an eye on it so now we can see how we're off or whatever. That's why those lines are nice, just to keep us all straight and square. All right. That's okay for the top. Go to the bottom. I should have brought that half inch line across the bottom here too, but it won't last long. All right. We're just doing a little scooping cut just to give that little beak a little bit of a flare. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little inside round. Not all knives like to do this little rounding area. So I find sometimes if you have a hard time getting that swoop in there, just slide your knife a little bit. Give it a little sliding action, and you can uh, seems to work. And like I said, I've already lost that half inch line of my rounding, right? But that's okay. And there's our our one inch line here, and there we go. Like I said, just take little little bites back and forth, back and forth. Check our side profile. We're getting there. We're getting there. Good enough for now there. Again, forget what I said. All these lines, we should bring all four sides. All the way around. So you can see them, at least for a minute. bottom see a 
We just about got her. There's our rough, rough shape of our bird. All right. Now we know our center mark here. Bring that back down. See, it's a windy, windy morning. Go back, find our center for our beak. And the same thing from our half inch mark. We gotta go towards the beak. Yeah. Don't get too caught up in those lines. Those lines are just guidelines you can see I'm, I'm encroaching into them already. And everything's going to look fairly square at this point, and that's okay. Because uh, we've got lots of rounding to do, all right? But now, we're going to come from the back side here. Let's put a little mark at uh, three quarters of an inch, okay? And all that is here, basically, we're going to come in Oh, a healthy eight three sixteenths. And you can see how we're going to give a little bit of an inside shape to it. Yeah. So basically from our one inch line, it's going to cut in a little bit. Come both ways. And we're keeping it rough. We're not, uh, we're nowhere near cleanup, all right? So just getting our rough, our rough shaped bird. Okay, now look at that, a little bit off. So let's keep her square. Not bad. So there is a very, very rough bird, okay? Now, now we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna take all of the corners off and we're just gonna go around and everywhere. We're in, uh, we're in rounding mode. And this is all gonna be by feel at this point. I'm mercilessly taking all the corners off and we're gonna round this little birdie, all right? Right to the point of the beak. You can see the beak. We really want to get that beak swooping towards the beak. <laughs> what am I saying? I want a nice gradual smooth transition to the beak. There, that sounds better. All right. But this is just all by feel now. Now we're just taking off all of our corners and our hard edges, our factory edge on the wood. We're just feeling our way around with our knife, and rounding our bird, all right? That's not a bad, bad front, okay? And again, down the side, just don't be afraid. Just get in there and take those corners off. Like I'm taking like quarter inch plus planes off of these. Right. We want as many, facets are our friend. We want as many facets as we can get. And again, we can watch our, our bottom section here that we get the uh, same shape. Hmm. 
I'm always looking at it to make sure that we're kind of same on both sides. No, we're not, so we'll fix it. But just going over and over again with our knife. Rounding, rounding, rounding. All right, what do we got there? I love carving these birds. Now we're just going around making sure everything is smooth. All right. Kind of a kind of a whale looking bird right now. So his head is I'm gonna take if we had a gouge, I would take a gouge and go around, but we don't. So basically what we're gonna do is with the beak, let's just draw a line here. With the beak here, for lack of a better a better term, we're gonna give this kind of shoulders. All right. We're gonna narrow that head basically from the center line up. Just narrowing that head. Right through to the front here. Just swooping her up. Now if I look at it this way, can you see that? See how I just swooped that up? Like I said, a gouge would be uh, convenient, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, now again, we got our shoulders. Let's take off all these little, little hard edges. We don't want any. We want this just to be smooth, just to be able to rub it between our fingers. All right. Okay. I like that. Right. And on the back side here, it's going to end the head. And say hello to the train. The head is very long here. We're just going to put a little stop cut. Just to stop the, uh, the head here. And again, this is where I, uh, <laughs> I got it. I'll wait for a minute. As you can see, I'm just putting a little, a little stop to the head there. All right. I'm going to give it a little angle this way. All right. And a little angle this way. The train's got all the dogs barking. Good grief. Okay, we shorten up our head a little bit with a stop cut, and guess what we're going to do now? We're going to round all those edges again, <laughs> keeping her nice and smooth. Come on, get out of there. See that? So the head is uh, a little narrower. Now I can see here, I'd like to uh, increase the 
the swoop on that beak so it doesn't look like it's part of the head. And there we go. We just took that out with a couple little swoops with our knife. Well, we're getting there. And like I said, I just keep going over and over, just taking off all the little hard, hard edges, keeping it smooth. Okay, there we go. Now we've got our head shaped. There, there. So now we're gonna come back again with that uh, three quarters of an inch, roughly. I say roughly. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put one little cut here, a little stop cut. I'm gonna come up to it from the tail. See that? And from that, just a little mark up here. I'm gonna make a little triangle. Cut that in. Like so, slide our knife in, take out a big chip. All right. Now, we have our sides, so I'm going to come down like that, both sides. See that? I'm about a quarter inch from the, the bottom here, the line. I'm just going to nicely uh, draw that in there, and then bring it up just a little bit. Just a rough wing, all right? So you again this side, come in here, and come up. About a quarter of an inch in the bottom here. And then just kind of swoop them together, join them together, okay? And then we're going to come up a little bit at the front. Now look at the top. I can see both sides are close to the same, except for I want to take a couple more off of here. Okay. You should be able to see both wings. All right, I'm just going to take my knife and stick it in straight. Come around. Join that. All right, I'm going to come underneath and remove that piece of wood. Like so. Of course, now I'm going to clean up underneath. All right. Take the hard edge off of my wing. And my pencil line. All right. Same thing on this side. Put my knife in. Swoop around. Come back underneath. Take that wood out. Twice if I have to. <laughs> Alright. Now take the wood out from underneath. Smooth her all out. All right. And smooth my wing. Remove my pencil mark at the same time. All we 
always looking, working my way around. Okay, now if I look at my tail, I can see that's a little bit, uh, a little bit off center. So let's make it look the same. All right. Now let's look at some uh, tail feathers here. Okay, I've been dabbling with all different, uh, different styles, different uh, techniques. Very very minimalist mm -hmm. stone one here I like that very very plain very simple just a couple little little what do you call them finials is finial a word mm -hmm. so let's just go from center here I'll just kind of show you I'll just take the uh, edges off of here. You can play with all different uh, designs that you like. All right. So, okay. And we can do we can do facets like that. It's just fun to, to fool around and uh, try different things. All right. But if I want to uh, just kind of roll my knife in between those two points, I can give myself a nice little cup like that. All right. Maybe that. If I want to uh, come in, give a little, little long V cut here. I can carefully do that. that. But yeah, you can do whatever you like. So I think we should. Uh, I'll just take a little, little facet off the top of each one here. I'll call that one good. Oh, I like that too. Okay. Knocking off some more corners. Okay, let's look at our bird all around. So I can see this side's got a little, little extra little bump there, no big deal. Take her off, look again. Everything seems to be checking out. We don't want a super sharp point. We'll just blunt, blunt the, the beak a little bit because it's, uh, it always mushes or breaks or whatever. Looking at our bottom, make sure we got it same shape around the bottom. But yeah, I think we've got a little bird. What's that? All right, let's call that uh, let's call that a bird. Now, if you want to sand it, if you want to go really smooth, I sanded this uh, butternut one, and so it's very nice to just to hold in your hand and, and rub. Like I said, comfort birds are uh, going to be little stress relievers, 
Just little things to play with. Put them on your desk and uh, play with them. I did the same thing with the, the soapstone, which really needs to. So I really like that. But otherwise, yeah, I dunked this one in uh, some stain. All right. Paint it. This one has a little bit of a white, white antiquiness to it. See that? Where I just painted it white and then just scuffed off all the edges. But uh, yeah, you just throw some Howard's Feed and Wax and uh, call it done. All right, there you go. We've made our little uh, family of comfort birds. Give it a try. Fun little project. Can't go wrong. And uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out uh, Wood Carving Illustrated. The link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, I will uh, deliver this one to my, my father and uh, yeah, hope he digs it. So, all right, until next time, take care guys and uh, catch you later.